I'm going to get my wife to say hello. Harry introduces Meghan to Australian war widow, 98, as he meets her for the third time and shares a cuddle after she stole a cheeky kiss on his previous visits. The Duke of Sussex today enjoyed a heartwarming reunion as he introduced his pregnant wife to the 98-year-old war widow who twice stole a kiss from him. Daphne Dunn captured the hearts of millions after she met the prince in 2015 and again in 2017, when she waited in the pouring rain wearing her late husband's Victoria Cross. The medal caught Harry's attention and the cheeky pensioner nabbed a kiss from him when he leaned in to ask her about it. Today, the pair were reunited once again and Harry took the time to introduce Mrs. Dunn to Meghan, who warmly clasped her hand as said she had heard many good things about her. The 98-year-old was eagerly waiting with a bouquet of flowers to greet the couple outside the Sydney Opera House, which they visited during their mammoth 16-day Commonwealth tour which will also be taking in New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. Today, the first full day of their tour, began with a trip to Taranga Zoo and culminated in a Cindy reception at the Grand Admiralty House overlooking the city's Opera House. Mrs. Dunn's first husband Albert Chown was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross after he died in Papua New Guinea in 1945 during the Second World War. She wore his cross during a royal visit to the Opera House in 2015, when she first nabbed a kiss from the prince after he leaned in to ask her about the medal. And much to her delight, Prince Harry spotted her in the crowd once again before he made his way over to share a loving hug and introduce her to his pregnant wife. How are you? I'm going to get my wife to come over to say hello, he said to Ems Dunn, before introducing his wife to her. Oh my goodness, is this Daphne? I'm so happy to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you, all good things, Meghan said as the two women clasped hands. Ems Dunn replied, it's wonderful, the two of you as she congratulated the pair on their exciting baby news. Congratulations, it's just what Harry needs. He will be a marvelous dad. He won't let anything stand in his way and he will be so gentle and loving. During their heartwarming encounter, Prince Harry noticed something different about M's Dunn. Have you dyed your hair a shade of pink? He asked, to which she responded yes. The royal fan gifted the couple flowers, as Meghan thanked her, adding, Hopefully next time we see you, we'll have a little one with us. She had also brought with her pictures of the previous time she met the prince. Speaking to Op following her meet and greet with Meghan, Ems Dunn said, She said she had heard all about me, she's so beautiful. Ems Dunn first met the prince at the Sydney Opera House in 2015 where she nabbed a kiss on the cheek. Two years later, the pair crossed paths again when they shared a kiss and hug after she waited to meet him in the pouring rain for seven hours with an esky full of beers. Appearing on the Today Show on Tuesday before the meeting, the super royal fan shared her excitement about the prospect of meeting Prince Harry for the third time. I'm quite excited. I don't think he has changed very much but I probably have. Seen my age is going up, 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 she told reporter Sylvia Jeffries. He's a natural. He just loves what he's doing but seems to fit in with everything he says. I'm very happy for him. I'm glad he's got a wife now and soon a bubba. Speaking fondly about the prince, M's Dunn told Sunrise. Harry is just wonderful, you couldn't describe him any other way. I have to meet Meghan because she and Harry are really in love, you can see it coming out of their eyes and out of their hearts too. Weighing in on the baby joy, M's Dunn said. I'm thrilled for them, especially Harry because I know how he wanted a baby, now he's got his wish. She added that Prince Harry will be a hands-on father when the baby arrives. Reminiscing their heartwarming encounter, M's Dunn told the Today Show a selfless Prince Harry seemed unfazed when he braved the rain to talk to her in May 2015. He didn't worry about, he just continued on with what he was doing, which was talking to me, she recalled. When he started to go. He gave me a kiss on the cheek. And when he came back later, he gave me another one because I was lopsided, and I had to have another kiss to put me right. When asked where the third kiss will go, M's Dunn laughed as she responded, I don't know, I might not even get one. Last year in June, M's Dunn grabbed a kiss from the royal after she braved the wet weather for seven hours in the rain. Despite the torrential downpour, she told Daily Mail Australia at the time, he's worth waiting for even in the pouring rain. This time, I got a kiss on the opposite side, so it wouldn't be lopsided. He was lovely. He gave me a hug and a kiss and said it was great to see me, 
she said. He was so pleased to see me and he worked out in his own mind that it's just gone two years since we last met. He asked if I ever take my medals off and I said, yes, to go to bed. Asked if she offered him a beer from the ice box she had by her side, she said, no. He didn't have time and he was soaking wet. Pouring rain dampened the start of Harry's visit to Cindy to launch the countdown to the 2018 Invictus Games. But Ems Dunn remained in high spirits all day, saying she had a special place in her heart for Harry due to his passion for veterans affairs. I think he does a lot for everyone, but he seems to dote on soldiers who have been injured, she said. During their first encounter by the Opera House in May 2015, she said he had been quick to notice the Victoria Cross she wore. He got close to me and he said, I know what that is, she said at the time. And I said, well, you should. 